I'm gonna try and squeeze it in there. Oh, son! Oh, God! That's the gal. That's the gal right there. Oh, God, look at his HP. Oh, no, that was again too close. Run away. Yeah, thingy. Oh, my God, there's the gal. They didn't... Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of our hardcore permadeath adventure with the archer. We're back in the mistlands, we're back in business. Sorry about my voice. I'm still recovering after being a bit sick. So I might uh, mute the mic so I can, you know, cough and clear my face and nose and everything. Uh, it's been a rough week, but uh, we're back in business. So, <laughs> yeah, um, before going in adventure, Special thanks to uh, Kate and to Russell for being members of this channel. Also, I've had a crazy donation to one of my videos by Fox. That was insane. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate all your support. You should join the members too, because uh, with that donation you could have joined the memberships uh, for good. I also was asked by some of you to talk a bit more in the beginning of the videos about uh, memberships. So, uh, we'll do that. I'm gonna do that. First, let me just check, uh... To see where the gold is, because I haven't played... Oh, there's the gold. I haven't played this in a while, so I don't know where all my items are. I need to... In this episode, we need to look f uh, for a spot, a good spot for a base. Thing is, it has to be in Mistlands so we can harvest resources in there. Okay, so, uh, before going and, uh, doing that... We're still running a bit low on food. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so... Uh, memberships, yeah. they uh, We have three memberships for this channel. The first one is purely symbolic. The second one... Uh, with the, you know, the first one is with the emojis and everything. The second one gives you... Grants you access to early access for the videos. And uh, if you can't wait to see the next episodes... And we are a few episodes ahead. All the time. Like three or four episodes recorded ahead of time so uh, if you <laughs> if you're a uh, impatient sort of say then uh, that's that's the one for you I think we're good to go and the third one will uh, I will adjust the perks for that will grant you exclusive videos for members only of that tier also we're gonna be able to chat personally and uh, talk about a game and tips and uh, we'll even play together in the future once they fix the lag issue, <laughs> it will be my pleasure to play with you, but uh, we need to fix the lag issue because, like I said, I'm in Romania and the I can only play from with people from Europe unless we find a dedicated server. That might work to our advantage. We'll see. And, of course, there's a storm coming. Oh, goodness. Let's see. I just want to check to see if everything is on me. Because uh, once I get there, I need to hold on to check my boat. We need to check everything else before going in this adventure. Could I have a raid right now? That would be amazing. Okay, so it's morning. We need to get to the boat. We need to start sailing and I need to find a cool spot. Let me just check the boat because I need to make sure that everything is on the boat. Or, oh, pardon me. I need to check out to see if the boat is empty. Okay, so we do have some meat on the boat. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I shouldn't waste arrows on these guys, however... Oh my god, I know I've been sick for, for a few days, but uh, my aiming is just terrible. What's wrong with me? Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is a bit weird. Yeah, I, I, I can't do anything about my voice, but I really wanted to record this episode because I feel good. I don't feel that bad, it's just my voice and uh, my sinuses are a bit stuffy. So, uh, let's just quickly grab the forge, I guess, grab the workbench. Then I will be able to come back here for everything else. Actually, we do need just the f upgrade for this. And 10 extra wood, so I can plant the workbench there when we arrive. I will also need some stone, that's a must-have. Can I grab all these on me? What? Oh yes, we have the belt right now! <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the belt. See, I wasn't used to the fact that we have a <laughs> we have a belt right now. 
Well, that's, that, that changes everything. I do need... Don't think we have stone in here. Yeah, we don't. I need to come back for all these resources. And I'm going to do this in this episode once we have the base figured out. Looks like we're not going to get a raid. I'm not going to wait for it. Also need the better pickaxe. I need to find some... Your dazzle wood. Or what it's called. <laughs> ah, we need the rocks. We need rocks because... If I find something, I need to find... Uh, I need to get a quick uh, foxhole. I need to grab myself a quick foxhole. Just in case things go bad. So quickly here, let me just grab a uh, 50 stone. So, so we'll be good on that regard at least. I was kind of going to... A lot of carry weight right here. That's that's it. That's about it. Okay, we're good. Why am I getting swarmed by you guys? Come on, I don't need you here. Let's not make a mess around this outpost. It's a really cool outpost. I want to keep it like that. There you go, away. Good. Wasting frost arrows on gray dwarfs. That's <laughs> that's top notch. That's smart. That's big brain thinking. Oh god, can't even get into my ship. I hate waves in real life as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start sailing around the coast. We're gonna go back where we had that dungeon. And uh, if I'm gonna find a cool spot for a base in the Mistlands, I just need it to be without any fog. Because I, I... Oh my god, what am I doing? I won't be able to deal with that. So, uh... Yeah, it's, it's impossible to have a base in the fog, or even with all the torches and whatnot. Oh, we might get to use the actual tor Dodge the bullet right there. Again, another big bullet there. So, we might be able to use the torches around the base and stuff like that, but I need to I need the base to be uh, in a spot with no fog. That's gonna help me a lot. What am I doing here? Oh my god! Why am I sailing so close to the... Oh, my boat! No! What am I sailing? Why am I sailing so close to the... You gotta be kidding me. At this point, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I had no issues with anything else. Now you're gonna do this to me. What am I doing sailing so close? I know it's kind of foggy and everything, but still... I can need to keep in the keep the distance away from the shore. Yeah, so uh, putting all that aside, the weird the weird glitch with the water, where the waters meet. It's a weird line. Okay, putting all that aside, uh, it's time for uh, for some exploration. I'm gonna keep here to my left, actually my right. Actually, we're gonna keep looking at the shore. No, don't wanna go into the mist, please. Hello. Might get a gyal here, don't want that. This is a mist, I hate the mist. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as we find a cool spot for a base, I'll be back with you. When we try and land in the actual mist lands in this episode. Because now we've been just scooping around the, uh, or snooping around the, the edges for dungeons. But now we're actually going inland, so fingers crossed that everything goes good. We've had no raid, we're gonna have a raid right there. I'm curious how that works. Hopefully in our favor. So, yeah. I don't know. We might die. And, uh, like I said, I'm cool with the fact that we might die in this run. I don't even know if we're able to find the queen. So, I'll be back with you once we... Oh, God! That's a gyal right there! Ah, no, 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 please, please, please. Can I get it, though? It looks like I can't get it. Should I fiddle with that? Should I not? No, we're not gonna fiddle with them. Am I crazy or what? Leave the gal be. <laughs> That's endangered species. I wish they were. Okay, so like I said, I'll be back with you once the storm clears. Uh, and we're gonna have a good uh, spot. We're gonna be able to look for a good spot for a base. I know this shore is a no-go. Because I've, I've passed this for uh, so many times yet. But yeah, we're gonna see what the future brings. So, uh, we're back. I haven't found any spot. I've been sailing for a while right now. I just want to get the rested buff right here. I've spotted no gyals, no nothing. So I think it's a good spot for a... It's a good place so we can get the rested buff. In case of anything goes bad. 
we do have the wind in our favor, so we can just quickly jump in the boat and make a run for it. It also looks like it's gonna be... It's gonna be night pretty soon in here, which is great news for me. So just wanna get the rested buff. I'm gonna keep looking for gals. If, it's gonna get, if we're gonna get the night time in here, I'm gonna wait it out in the boat. We're not gonna go and land. We're just gonna wait it out in the boat. It kinda looks like night time. 12 minutes have gone. Yeah, this, this kinda looks like it's gonna be night really soon, so... Uh, I don't wanna be here during the night time. Okay, quickly grab the fire. Oh god, on the boat, on the boat, on the boat. Looking for gals, because I don't want to repeat the last few two episodes adventures. <laughs> okay, now that we got a rest of the buff, we can resume our adventure. But if it gets to night time, like I said, I'm going to wait it out in the boat. I'm going to keep looking for some uh, for a good landing spot. I don't know if we're going to find one. I'm going to do my best. There's another batch of islands right there. And it looks like it's Mistlands. I just hope I'm still going south at this point. I just hope I'm not gonna end up in uh, Ashlands. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. But I think I'm gonna figure it out because I die instantly with this boat. As far as I've uh, I'm concerned, as far as I know. Okay, so no, no way to see inland so far. I'm gonna keep going this way. Maybe, maybe not. I just don't want to go and sail around the island. If we're not going to find anything, I'm going to go be back at that outpost and we're just going to, I don't know, look on the other side, I guess. Of, of, there's another island right there. So we're going to look on the other side. I'm going to let you know. That looks like a nice spot right there. I don't know, it's kind of deep. Between those rocks, I don't like it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. That looks... Oh my god, that's, there's no mist right there. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Oh, uh, no. Let's not do that. Might be a gal here. But that looks promising, to say the least. Right? Look at that. There's no fog in there. I can see... Because I can see the trees. Oh, let's turn around for a second. Let me back away slowly, back into that gap. Could that look pretty promising? We only have five minutes of daylight. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to wait out the night time on the boat. That would be the smartest thing to do. But that looks promising, because I can see trees all the way back there. And at the same time, I can see trees back there. Problem is, how do I get access to this? There is look like a dungeon right there. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, we did find, like I said, a couple of dungeons around this place. That looks kind of promising. I'm gonna spot a gal. I'm gonna try and be silent about it. <laughs> For first time. Try not to make a lot of noise. But that looks... That looks good, honestly. Oh, what am I doing? I'm stop, stopped battling. That's not good. There's a small... Uh, island in the way. I don't know how I'm gonna access that. That's gonna be the problem. Getting access back there. Because the only access... Is this tight corridor. And I don't think I can fit... Through this. Uh, I'm so scared. This is turning my stomach upside down. I just know we're gonna get raided. I just feel it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just feel we're gonna get raided. Oh, God. So, uh, we're gonna investigate in the morning. I don't like this. I don't like what I'm seeing. It's a lot of mist. I'm gonna wait here. Maybe we're gonna have a raid or something. Yeah, I'm gonna try and trigger a raid. See how that goes. But we're gonna definitely wait around this area.
Yeah, no matter what, I have to wait here. So, uh, I'll be back with you if anything exciting happens, but usually I'm just gonna keep watch the entire night. I wanna go there. I just wanna go there because, like, I see... like, I can't see everything from here. Hold on, let me get back. But it sure feels like there's something there. See, I can see all the way back there. There are trees. Looks like a nice spot. Looks even uh, nice. Okay, we'll see. But until we get there, I can't know for sure. So uh, I'm gonna wait here around this uh, around this area. Like I said, we're gonna wait for a raid. Maybe we can get a trigger a raid. That would be amazing. So we don't get a raid where we're uh, inland on foot. And I'll be back with you if anything exciting happens. Like I said. So we're gonna wait out the night in here. We're gonna park here nicely. Maybe we're a bit too close to the shore though. Hold on. <laughs> we're kinda too close to the shore. I'm gonna back it up a bit. Okay, but it looks like uh, it's, it's night time already. Just a bit too close to the shore. Just gonna go back here. Back it up like this. They don't want the actual event to work if we're gonna get one. Don't know if we are in the mistlands at this point. Any event is a good event, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait right here. And I'll see you guys in the morning or if we're gonna get a raid. It's about to be dawn. It's about to be dawning on a new day really soon. But the conditions haven't really improved. So I've been waiting here for 10 minutes. Keeping out for any potential raids or gulls that might come off the island. Is there gonna see it's gonna... yeah. Day 194. There we go. New day. But we have this rain going on and the mist. A lot of mist around. So I can't really do this. I can't go inland in, under these conditions. That's it. I don't think it's a good idea. So I gotta keep waiting for the rain to stop. This is stupid. This is just... Th the only thing that's annoying is that you're depending on the environment a lot. To be able to do something in this challenge is, is just bonkers. If I go in there under these conditions... <laughs> That's death for me. I won't even be able to touch it to shore. I'm gonna get an event or a surprise gal attack. I'm wet. I can't have the rested buff anywhere. I waited here because I wanted to trigger an event, but it looks like we're not getting any events at this point. Which is bad news. Is really bad news. Hold on, let me try and get a bit closer here around that rock would be amazing just to see if I'm not gonna be able to trigger any event because now the wind blows from down there so it blows from blows from the south I think we're gonna go slowly also being here that means I've given enough chances for uh, gyals and other monsters to spawn on those islands Just gonna be super careful listening to every single sound. I don't know if we are in the mistlands where I stood over the entire night. That might not even be mistlands. So I'm just checking here, getting a bit closer to the mistlands to see. If this is the weather in the Mistlands, I don't know if I'm in the Mistlands right now. Looks like I am. And it's raining in there. And that's a bad sign for me. Yeah, that's a bad sign. So we have to wait out... Oh! <laughs> the rain just stopped! <laughs> I was like, we're gonna have to wait out the rain. Ah, uh, no, no, start raining again on me! We're gonna back it up slowly. 
Oh god, I might regret this. I might regret this. Let's eat. Not that that will help me. How am I gonna do this? Please, for the love of God, give me a raid. I've been raided back. I've had. We've had back to back raids, right? We've had back to back raids. And now that I really want to raid before landing there, I get none. As soon as I slap down my workbench, I'm gonna get a raid. That's what I don't want to. Is this gonna 100% trigger a raid? Hmm, so what do I do, folks? This is a risk that I would really not take. But it doesn't look like the conditions in there are gonna improve any further, it's any better than this, so, uh... Oh god, let's try it. Well, you know what? I think it would be wiser to get away and get the rested buff somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a must do. Must have. I don't even think I have enough wood for this adventure. So I'm gonna keep uh, that uh, in my mind, that spot. We're gonna keep it in our minds. Oh god. I'm gonna need a small place where I can get the rest of the buff going. That looks like it. Oh no, that rock this is even better. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's get by that rock. It's a huge rock. So once I get rested, I'm gonna try and back it up in that little gap there. Might as well repair the boat while we're at it. Watch me have a gyal in there just waiting for me, because now the enemies, the enemy spawn rate on hardcore is just bonkers. It's insane. Eh. What's with the weather? Every single time that I get close to the mistland, it's getting darker and darker. So it's it's not. A <laughs> Oh my god, this game is... I wish they changed this. So it's not enough that the terrain is so treacherous and shitty, and pardon the language, but it's, it's totally not accessible. They've added a lot of thick mist, so you can't see anything in there, so you can't see your enemies, and basically you can't spot anyone and anything in there. It's not enough that. It's even darker in here than the rest of the... It's like a swamp. Oh god. Maybe I should have the workbench here. Wait out the raid or something. I don't know. I have to go back there. We have to get back. I'm gonna turn this thing around. Seems like we're not getting any raids any soon, anytime soon, so... We're gonna get them as soon as I uh, step foot where I want to, inland. That's gonna happen. We're gonna get raided. I'll be back with you once I reach there. So we are trying to back it up in there. It is what it is. I, I can't. This is just a waste of time at this point. I have no other ideas. I have no other plans. I'm gonna try and squeeze it in there. Hold on. Just a second. Looking for some gals. I'm super scared at this point. But there is a clearing right there. You can see it. So we need to get resources inland. We're not gonna get any raids. I'm just gonna spin the camera, sorry for this, we're gonna, we're gonna have to look around for every single thing.
Thing is, for the Gyal event, I have nothing. I have no means of defending myself against it. Oh, we're in deep trouble right now. We are in deep trouble. I hate this. I hate this. And I hate this. Have I mentioned that I hate this? I really hate this. That looks like a dungeon right there. With the three thingies. Oh god. Oh! What a pleasant sight! What a pleasant sight for a change. That's the that's a dungeon. So if anything goes bad, I'm gonna run back to this little fella. And he's gonna be able to help me. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh we got two. Um let's see we're gonna set this base. Uh we could do some sort of workbench slapping right here. Please, Mr. Hare, don't have time for you. Watch, watch, watch me. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting so nervous right now. Come on. Oh my god. I'm gonna clear the entrance to this dungeon just super fast because that's that's cool, that's amazing. We can we have an escape route in case of an event. So let me see what's here. There, there are a lot of seekers down here, but that's what is. Come on, shoot him! <laughs> it was stuck in midair. Oh, son! Oh, God! Let's get him! Get him, buddy! I want to shoot you. Yeah, you get him. That's the gal. That's the gal right there. Oh my god, I was stuck. Maybe the other fella could help me with the gal. Oh god. That's the gal right there. I might have to make a run for it for that dungeon. Look at him! Just waiting for me to make one wrong move. Can I get a fire in here? Gotta keep an eye out for you. Oh, he's nearby. I think he spotted the verger. Might need to jump. I need just I need the rested buff. I can't do this. It's 30 seconds with. I don't have the rested buff. I'm gonna be lost about it. Where are you? Where are you? Because I've had you. You're right there in the mist. There you are. We're gonna try and go sneaky about this. So we don't alert the Kyal. But the terrain here is so treacherous. Goodness gracious. Hold on, I'm gonna try and gear up. Go, 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 go! Oh, no! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. By this time, I'm accustomed with your attacks. I hate that noise. I hate it from the bottom of my heart. So I'm going to try and get it from up here. Just need to make sure that there are no other monsters around. So I can go in that infested mine. Okay, we're good. No more seekers. We're good. Oh, we need to get rid of that gal. Oh god, where is this? He's behind those trees. 
So in case of anything, I'm just gonna jump and get into those infested mines. Which is good that we could just got a dungeon right here. Or actually, we can just go through here. Where are you? Come on. I know, you're there. These guys are sneaky, so they don't have an issue with the gal. I do. Let's blast him. You're not getting anywhere. This time I spotted you some from some far away distance, so you're not doing anything to me. You're finished, you're finished, you're finished. There we go! What does the gal drop? I don't even know what the gal drops. Imagine. Okay, so we do have this little area right here, which is totally defendable. So in case of a raid, we're just gonna go and jump inside those dungeons. We're gonna have to place torches around here. We do have these amazing roots, which is awesome. I didn't even get to analyze the place, like, rejoice in the fact that we've actually spotted this. We have actually... Where, have, where did you die? You've died here. What is that? Bile bag. And Gyal Trophy. Can't pick this up. Oh, I can pick it up. So it's, it's a really nice open area. I was right about it because I spotted trees from so far away in land. So we, ha we do have the dungeon. That's amazing. In case of a raid or anything, we do have that dungeon. Might want to build on top of this. Don't know if that's a good idea. Defendable against raids. I'm gonna quickly look for a good spot for a base. I'm gonna start building the actual base. But like I said, in case of anything goes bad, we do have those uh, infested mines. That we can just jump and run into those. So this might be our little spot for a base. Also, this is uh, this is good versus the Seekers. No, it's not good versus the Seekers. I've, I've screwed the... Uh, it's a good thing that we have the dungeon because I've screwed this up. That this is not deep enough. The seekers can totally get me here. But yeah, uh, like I said, I'll be back with you once I actually build the base and we are a bit safer in here. Once I figure out absolutely everything in here. So now that we have that dungeon, I feel whoo, I feel super super relieved. We can just go jump in there and uh, chill in case things go bad. So I'll be back with you once I've sorted some sort of a base slash outpost around this area. Okay, so let me show you guys what I've been working on. It was <laughs> quite a crazy adventure. I figured out a better way to get our base. I figured out, hey, you know what? It would be a cool way to have a base under this thing. That way we could be safe from Gyal's attacks and everything. We can just borrow underneath here. So this was my first attempt, but the terrain wouldn't let me actually dig any further here, so that was an issue. Uh, at this point, I figured out I'd try to go higher and higher, but I didn't have any chance to... Uh, pardon me a second. Had to clear my voice, like I said, I'm a bit sick. I had no chance to go any further in this, so I figured out, hey, you know what? This would be a cool idea to have a little base just outside here. I have my rested, uh, my fire and my rested buff in there, in the dungeon. So when the raid happened, I just went inside and waited the raid out. You can totally uh, do that and sneak out. So uh, during raids, you could just hop inside one of those dungeons. And this is what I've been doing. I've been digging under, under here. <laughs> this is where I had my workbench and my forge. We're gonna add some light in here to make this feel a bit cozier. So this works under this uh, this whole uh, dungeon. And what I want to do is get myself uh, the stone cutter here, or the black pickaxe, I don't know which is better. And we're gonna mine underneath, uh, we're gonna mine a few blocks of this mar black marble, block this entrance and have a secret entrance through the marble blocks. That way uh, seekers can't get inside, only thicks can get inside. We'll see. So, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is get back to the base. I had no other gals here, which was amazing. I don't think I've spent too much time, I think around two days. Or not even two days in here. A day and a half, I think, in the game, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I haven't measured anything. But I just saw there was a new day, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna quickly go back inside there. I'm gonna add the... 
make sure it's morning and we're gonna sail and we're gonna sail to the night too sail back to the old base and get all kinds of upgrades and stuff like that back here back to this base and uh also smelting uh, forges and everything the black forges one of each so it'll be uh, good to live in here but like i said stone cutter i hope i don't forget the stone cutter and the <laughs> black metal pickaxe so uh oh shoot oh shoot this is the worst time for the event Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> so now that I have the workbench here, things are going to be a bit crazier. I don't think they will be able to spot me in here. Just going to be sneaky. See, they can't see me in here. Yeah, this is totally working. They're on top, you can see them work, walking on top. <laughs> they can't spot me here. This is bonkers, this is amazing. Actually, this is the first event of this sort. I did have a skeleton event that was super easy to defeat. Well, hide from it, actually. <laughs> Not defeating anything. But uh, other than that, this works pretty nice. That I, I haven't even blocked the entrance. This works just fine, so the way to do this is borrowing underground. This totally works. Okay. As you can see, we're totally safe in here. They don't even get in here. This is amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back inside the dungeon to get the rested buff again. Because I have a fire in there. I've placed down a bed. I haven't even claimed the bed <laughs> because I can't slip in it. So I've been working through the night, the search is over. Yeah, we're gonna go out there and uh, clear everything. Maybe get inside the dungeon first for a nice uh, rested buff. Or wait for them to actually leave for good. Maybe that's the best, the smartest thing to do. And anyway, I'll be, uh, I'll be back with you once we get back to the base and load the ship. This is gonna take me another hour, so I'm not gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it off the camera. We're just gonna sail back to the old base and I'll make a list of all the materials required in order to survive in here. Oh, they killed a dwarf! Oh, sorry, is that it? That's a dwarf, I think. Yeah, that's what all the gold is for. Oh, no! Is this... Oh, black marble. How is that black marble? Oh, these guys are still here. An entire chain of them. Or at least we're getting jelly. Hey there! Where's your friend? See, they're just kind of... They got stuck in here. That was awesome. That was bonkers. So the base totally works. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of the buff. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's get inside, get the rest of the buff. Gonna stay sneaking here. Okay, who's detecting? Yeah, yeah, we're not. We're good. Okay, so uh, no matter what, just oh, <laughs> oh, there you go. This is where I've used the ooze bomb, so I've had some ticks. Let me just stay here. It shouldn't spot me here. Oh, he does. For you friend. Oh, come on, get away already. Okay, so I'll get the rest of the buff quickly. Get jump back on the ship. And uh, to sort everything else when we get back to the other base. Like I said, make a list, grab all the materials, all the forge and upgrades and everything. And we'll be back here in, uh, in about an hour, I think. We'll see. I think that's how much time it takes me to get back there. Okay, so we are back to the base. I did craft a lot of food. I did grab a lot of ingots, so uh, <laughs> everything is loaded up onto the boat. Took me an eternity to get back here. Now it's gonna take me another eternity to get back to the actual uh, mist lands. But I want to have a base there, I, and I also brought the seeds. Now we're gonna plant these in the black forest because I know they don't grow. At least that's that's what I know. Apparently they don't grow in the black forest. In the uh, goodness gracious, <laughs> in the mist lands. I won't have any room for any certain cores. So I might need to farm some uh, dungeons in the black forest to grab some cores. 
But we're gonna worry about that a bit later. Now, the only thing that I want to do is get back to the actual Mistlands. Have a nice storage chest to deposit every single item back at the base. And basically finish finish the base, finish up the base so we can have uh, everything set and ready. I uh, That will take me in, pff, another one or two hours from now on, so I'm not gonna have everything on the camera, it's a bit dull and boring to see me grind materials going back and forth from the boat. Uh, this is what isn't here. I also brought fine wood because I won't be able to find any fine wood in the forest. And I don't know if we're gonna have any meadows on the island that we are on. Might as well start sailing so I don't get a raid here. But yeah, other than that, we, we're ready to go, we should be ready at this point. Got the meads, extra some extra meads that I fire uh, we've got from uh, the fermenters I've left I've left here for a few days, and hold on we need to go that way. <laughs> Basically that's it. Got the seeds. We have swamp nearby. We can farm. We got the swamp key too. Uh, this is pretty much loaded up. We have silver on the ship. Hold on, let me just see. But I think we have. Silver, yep, yeah, that's silver, that's tin, we can find this in the forest too, silver. Basically we're gonna try and move the entire base into the Mistlands and have that small outpost in the Black Forest so I can grow out my crops, also so we can grab uh, mushrooms and stuff. So we're gonna leave this base behind and I'll be back with you once we... Finish the base, I guess. Finish building the base and everything. Gonna need to set up a stone cutter. I blot. I blot. I brought the black metal so we can build the pickaxe, the black metal pickaxe. So yeah, all the good stuff. Once I figured out everything and we're ready to uh, explore some uh, that dungeon. There's a dungeon I haven't explored. That dungeon we need to do that. Maybe look for uh, a few dungeons so we can see if we're gonna find the mother altar. The mother altar. Oh my god, the queen altar. <laughs> the queen veggies <Vegas> veer. <laughs> if it's there, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we've had two or three dungeons so far. Two dungeons, I think. They had no uh, no stone in them. No veggies veer. No boss stone. But we'll see. We're gonna keep looting dungeons until we you gonna know, run up into uh, into one of those. We still need to find a lot of seal breakers. But yeah, so plenty of uh, nice troll there. Hello. <laughs> Plenty of things to do in the Mistlands, so, uh, yeah. It's gonna take me another good half an hour, maybe 40 minutes to get back there. So, uh, that plus building the base, I don't know if, uh, I might have to, uh, record this in chunks, because it's, it's a lot of work that needs to be done. But I'm happy that we found that, uh, dungeon, which is relatively close to the shore in the Mistlands. So uh, we can access that in case of a raid. Now we had that small base underneath it. That's raid proof at this point. You saw that there, uh, <laughs> the monsters are unable to uh, to get us in there. So yeah, I'll be back with you once we have the base and everything settled and we're good to do some exploration and some cool stuff. Because uh, we're going to keep, like I said, all the boring stuff will be off the camera. Because at this point, is, uh, this, is, uh, this is futile to have... Uh, to record just the grind, this, it's pointless. We're gonna do it on the stream, we're gonna have a stream with a permadeath run in the future. And we're gonna keep all the grind on the stream, so there will be plenty of grind for any grind lovers out there. Let me focus here, I need to go that way, to the left, there. Right, so yeah, like I said, I'll see you when we have the base in the Mistlands. Okay, we are back. You might be wondering what's with this new location. What's this? What's happening? Well, this is the new base. So I found a new cool system of the base underground, having the base underground. I took the liberty of building everything in here. First thing, uh, <laughs> I turned myself into a little dwarf. Started mining all this area underneath a dungeon. So there's a dungeon upstairs, so we haven't explored that dungeon. We need to do that in this episode. Keep looking for that altar, for the Queen's altar, Vegas of here. And this is what I've been doing. So I went back, brought all the ingots from the other base, farmed a few more. I farmed some uh, copper in here and some uh, 
iron, you know, from those large uh, armor thingies, <laughs> swords, and what, uh, what not, everything that's down on the ground. And there have been a couple of days. I honestly don't know how many days. Let's just sleep on it and see how many days have passed. Because like I said, I've been doing this recording a uh, few days between uh, the last recording and this one so for the same episode. For the pure fact that building this base took me hours. All the digging, all the hiding that I had to do in the dungeon upstairs to get away from raids. Okay, let's see. 207. Day 207. That's... That's amazing. That's a lot of time. A lot of time spent in here. I think it's around seven days. We were at... That's eight. Click me. 198. Day 198 or something like that. So, let's go and explore the dungeon upstairs. Basically, I've got all the chests here. I've been doing some farming in the meadows. Back, I went back to the other outposts. Um, some cooking here. Cooking stations. Brought... Grabbed some materials from the meadows. There's a patch of meadows uh, near the... Black Forest Outpost, you know that one where we found the trader. I've done some simple farming here, just, just barely, barely. I also got a farm set up, I'm gonna show you where I have set up this farm, because you can't grow crops like uh, carrots and uh, turnips in the mistlands, obviously. So I had one in the Black Forest. I did find another island with a Black Forest nearby. So also grabbed some uh, black marble from here, not too much, because I would have revealed my... <laughs> My entrance. So this is what this is how you do it. This is how I did it. Every single raid you can survive the raids in here. Down in here you're 100% safe. You just go sneaky and the AI of the enemy will get confused. They will pile up right here in this corner. All the seekers. So we did had a Gyal event. We know with the WhatsApp Gyal and a seeker event. Now I need to be super sneaky in here. I've been in here once or twice but every single time I've been sneaky. So I've been doing this just cowering in this corner, praying for the enemies not to spot me. Now, there are a lot of enemies in here. I haven't cleared this. I've just been inside to my right, opened two doors, two gates. But there are some seekers here. There's, there's a one-star, there's a one-star seeker right there. So, we need to take care in this episode of that. I was just making sure that I have the timer on. I don't know if I can snipe that one from here. I, I, I could use a... Uh, <laughs> A sneak shot on this one and I know he has a friend in here as well let's see let me just oh no he's coming this way ah! <laughs> why am I so scared of him uh, okay no 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 don't spot me please okay let's wait for him to turn around my sneak skill isn't that good so at this point this is all that we got oh come on go away go away go away yes but he has a friend around here somewhere. There is, there's his friend. Ah, there we go. Woo! Good. Now that that's taken care of and out of the way, let's let's look around this area. Um, what color is this? Uh, that's that's a two star right there. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that. Okay, so, but we do we do need to clear this around. So this is where I've been at. I've opened these two areas just to see what's in here, and it's a lot of death around here. I haven't collected any of these, because I had a lot of cores from the last uh, dungeon that we've, we've explored. Basically, all I want to grab is the... Oh, actually, we can grab the... Hold on. Hold on. We don't need to throw these those away. Only the sausages. I don't need the sausages. We can grab the meads. Okay, these are kind of useless drops at this point, because they're lower in tier. Right, so let's take care of that. I won't grab any more jelly. Is the, there's a lot of jelly in the chests down uh, down in the base. So let's see. Let's get sneaky. Let's go here. So the same strategy is super effective. Just use the ooze bombs. Wait, wait for you to become sneaky. Look at that. All the ticks are ticking. All the monsters in there are. Uh, yeah, the ticks will go down first. I'm gonna use another. Uh, Ooze bomb on the on the door. Once I can get sneaky again. Come on, come on. Just to make sure that whatever's standing right here, because I've made these guys angry by walking around here. So now they're all aggroed. Kind of aggroed on me. Let's see. I just hope I'm not getting uh, totally murdered here. Oh, God. 
What am I doing? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was too close for my comfort. I dodge rolled into this. Oh, no. What am I doing here? So I'm gonna grab the blood. Oh, this is a dead end. Right. I'm gonna grab all the blood clots. But it looks like another dungeon where... Uh oh, I have two wood. Let's set it on the fire. Cool. Another dungeon where this is completely useless and I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Or should we go downstairs? Let's go downstairs. I need to use the ooze bumps. Oh, uh, no. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> These guys, they're really small, but they pack quite a punch. So, eh, let's go. Oh, looks like I've hit something behind the door, too. Which is highly convenient at this point. Got some seekers here. Um, Let's get sneaky. One more bomb, and then I'm gonna be able to take care of them. There you go. And some ticks. Looks like there are some ticks in there. Like so, like I said, I've been dropping all the seeker meat from the raids. We did have we did have like two or three. I can't remember. Seeker raids and one gyal raid. Now the gyal drop is totally useless for me, and, and it's just uh, if you want to use the bombs, the bile bombs. As far as I know. Now this can totally bite me in my ass. Pardon the language. Ah, uh, is that a one star seeker? That definitely looks like a one star seeker. And he can climb up the stairs! Hey, uh, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's not do this. Oh, no, 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 that was too close. They have this leap attack and it's kind of buggy. In terms that you don't know exactly... Uh, uh, uh. Go away. You don't know where they land. Sometimes they get glitched in the. Uh, oh, looks like it's it's a. Uh, oh no, there there are a few more down there. I have to be super careful here. Let me look. Ah no! <laughs> These guys pack quite a punch, even if they're small. Hold on. I wanted to get hit by one just to so show you. How much damage they do. Although this is not something you want to test. There you go. Look at that. Look at that little... Oh my god. Also, what am I doing with that armor on in here? Let's see. Will they hurt again? Come on. No, they don't hurt that much. With the other armor. Okay, so they definitely deal pierce damage. Ah, there's a lot of jelly and seeker meat in my inventory. I don't want this. We, we have a, a ton of it, so at this point I'm just here. Come on, give me an altar. Is there a Vegas severe? Now, it looks like another dungeon with no stone. There's another one down there. And it's a lot of mist. I'm not going down there. <laughs> Come on. Where are you at? Oh, God. Oh, it's a tick. It's a ticky tick. It's just a tick. That's it. Okay, I'll take it. So, no Veggie Severe. Oh, okay, so we do need to explore totally another uh, dungeon. We do need to find another dungeon and explore. So, I'm going to keep recording these dungeons up until we find the right one with a Queen Stone inside. Because at this point, there's nothing else left for me to do. Just to find the Queen's Altar now that we have a base in here. Or some sort of an outpost. Right, so here's the thing, I don't want to settle in here, it's a stupid idea, but the, the problem is, up until I'm doing all this farming and walking around and doing what not, what am I doing in here? I do need to be careful and I do, do need a place to get the rest of the buff, I need a place to store my items. So let's take care of this seeker. Oh my god, that's a two star behind that door. A lot of ticks. So I needed a place where I could repair items, hide in case of any raids, since we have all the raids all cranked up to the max. And this is the perfect spot. Okay, one more bile, bile bomb. Okay, they're ooze bombs. And we're gonna fiddle with one. Uh, I might want to drop another bomb in there, <laughs> just in case. Because I haven't fought any two stars at this point, so I don't want to do anything silly. 
right here and right now. Okay, looks like he's gone. Is he though? Oh no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh god, look at his HP. Oh no, that was again too close. Run away. He's gonna run for me. Watch him. Please. Oh, he's so fast and so angry. He's right there. Ah! <laughs> it's actually 1 HP and he won't die. Can I hit him? Uh, let's make a run for it. Oh, wow. Whew. That was something. <laughs> that was something scary. Oh, something scary indeed. Then there's another dead end, of course. No veggies of here for me. What about here? Okay, looks like I'm spotted. What am I spotted by? Eh. Okay, there's some monsters in here. Maybe some ticks. I'm gonna tell if they're... See, those are ticks. Could be starred ticks. Yeah, they pop. They pop nicely. And could be seekers too. Let's wait. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna shoot it from afar. Because if I were in the melee run doing this... Okay, there's a tick. Ticky tick. That's it. Another dead end. Oh my god, there's another dead end. Uh, this looks disturbing, like I've said in the <laughs> last episodes. I'll get, get rid of those. We can only hold on to the course. We only need the course. Ooh! And there's one more. But yeah, so we're gonna need another dungeon. Maybe not in this episode. But we're gonna squeeze one soon. Or two. Maybe we're gonna squeeze two dungeons in another episode. It's just, for me, super hard to spot these dungeons. I've spotted a few more down this way to the base, where I was uh, setting the ship. And one time the, sea the ship got destroyed by a, uh, one of them soldiers. Is he able to spot me right here? Because this is... No. <laughs> okay, he kind of... He kind of is. And so, yeah, my ship got destroyed by one of those uh, soldiers. But he was killed by the Dvergers. I had two Dvergers here. I've lost one of them to the Geld event. Go away. What fresh hell waits for me in here? It's a lot of ticks. Okay, nothing here. Looks like it, yeah, nothing there. Yeah, so we do need to squeeze another dungeon in there. Get rid of these guys. No. No, you're not doing anything. You're just small. Uh, I feel sorry like for dropping all these resources, but uh, at this point, there's, uh, there's nothing we can do. What is it here? More death? Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So, uh, okay, no more dungeons. Let me get my pen, let me get the map <laughs> going. And let's draw a line. I don't know where we're gonna go with this. Um, we're gonna go that way. What's that way? Let me get the building, building this. That way, wait, hold on. Let me get the direction right so we can uh, set up, yeah, that way. We can set up a stairs outside. Woo, we got it. We got the queen. Problem is how we're going to find the queen. And that's the entire dungeon, like, we've been downstairs. Cool. This is amazing, actually. This is amazing. I also need to show you a camp that I haven't been... Uh, Doing much exploring. Okay, so it's that way. Well, which way is that way? That way. Okay. I'm gonna need some uh, wood just to set up the direction for the queen altar. We're also gonna need to sleep on it really soon, maybe. I'm gonna repair everything in here. Let's grab the arrows. Let's grab more arrows. Let's grab everything. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it that easy. I may need to imply some... Uh, Employ some tricks. <laughs> okay. I know we do have a lot of gold. I might go and grab one of those eggs. 
Right, it's still, it's a hundred and... How expensive is, is it? Uh, 1500 gold, I think. Okay, let's see, so it's Mistlands, goes Mistlands drop in here. Some more core. Right, so uh, at this point... Oh yeah, you also got the Black Metal Pickaxe. The only upgrade. I wanted to build the helmet, the Carapace helmet, but we can't. For simple reasons. We just can't. It requires refined eider, and we don't have that. We can repair this. Uh, I'm gonna take you now that we found this is this is awesome. Hold on, let me just set the direction right before going to sleep. Should we go to sleep? Yeah, let's go to sleep first. We can worry about everything else in the morning. Maybe we're gonna get a raid, and uh, <laughs> after we got a raid, things will be smoother. I I wouldn't I didn't think that the actual mistlands would be so. Uh, I wouldn't say easy, because we almost died a few times, even in this episode. But yeah, two, oh, 208 days in here. God, that's a lot. But yeah, so we need to find the, set the direction for this. So, two wood, I just need two wood. We just need two. So I just need to, hold on. I need to get a raid going. Before anything else, I wanted to show you a cool location where I had a few uh, encounters, a lot of enemies. So uh, that's that way for the queen. It's the way we sailed. So that way is the ship, and the way we out of this island. So let's get back in here. Maybe wait for a raid. I don't know which is the best thing to do at this point. We're gonna go up there. Even if we're gonna get a raid, I'm gonna quickly run back to the base. We're gonna get the fast armor on. So I've planted some wisp torches on my wisp in here. I've also had the key for uh, for the swamp. I didn't use it, like I said. I thought I would need it, but we we got the a few pieces of iron scraps from the those large swords and uh, copper skulls and whatnot from the giants, which is amazing. Okay, so now I, I just wanted to go and let me show you. Also grab some, so we can grab the refined eider. I wanted to show you a cool little area. I'm just worried about a raid right now. So I don't want to get a raid right there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back to the base. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> when I was just asking for a raid, we totally got a raid. So let me show you how to survive a raid in here in this base. Basically, I'm placing... I'm just going like this, crouched. And we're going to wait the raid out. Just going to fast forward... I'm just going to fast forward it. And I'll be back with you once the raid is uh, is done, when the raid is finished. Okay, now they're starting to hit something right here. They didn't do this the last time. I don't know what's happening right now. But looks like these uh, pisses off. <laughs> oh, this one. Uh, they almost destroyed this one. So if we're going to do this, my friends, I'm going to give you an equal treatment. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab the other armor on. This has never happened before. I don't know what's got into them. But I kind of want to destroy uh, and get inside here. Hold on, let's see. At this point, let's just clear them out. Where are they all at? <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's not do this. A big pile of you. Why are those guys taking no damage? See, they just pile up in here. I don't know what's gotten into them this time. Oh, but they look like they destroyed one of the marble blocks. So I need to replace that. Huh. This is the first time they do that, though. They didn't do that the last times. I don't know what's gotten into them. 
Maybe I didn't get in quick enough this time because I was in the base during the yeah okay during those raids. Okay, so uh, we can repair these. It's fine. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. I hate those noises. Oh, but I wanted you to show you the. No. Yeah, I hate the thunderstorms in here. See, they got this weird uh, <laughs> sound onto them. Let me just quickly replace these. Top two. Come on, give me top two. There we go. That's it. Um, yeah, so we got a thunderstorm. Oh, but I wanted to show you the camp. So we had a camp. Okay, this is weird. Like, we had a camp with ver vergers, right? So there were no starred vergers, there were just normal ones. And I had a few seekers around, if, and one gyal, and they totally obliterated their camp. So they kept kept on fighting, and by the time I got there, um, they were gone. I destroyed the ward, you know, the warden little ward that uh, allows you to build around. So uh, I didn't grab all the loot, just because... Uh, I was too scared to go back there after all that large monster fight. But I wanted to go there right now and show you what's what. So maybe I am able to do that. Hold on, let's see. If I can quickly go back there, even during a thunderstorm, because I'm feeling a lot braver now for some reason. <laughs> like, I feel like we've almost conquered this biome. I'm gonna keep my eyes and ears peeled for any... Uh, Diver diver gel sounds. Because I know the, my gel sounds right now. But basically, this is the area I was talking about. Hold on. There are my torches. So I was exploring carefully around this area. I was going to look for some gels. So let's quickly get back here. Let me show you what's what. God, I hate those uh, the noises from the storm. Quickly, carefully. Oh, there you are. Looks like <laughs> looks like one survived. Oh no, it's another one. It's not from here cuz they were in here. Okay, so this is the uh, thingy. Oh my god, there's the gal. They didn't kill the gal. Run, 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 run. We're gonna run. Fight him off, friend. <laughs> I'm not gonna go back there right now. Or should I? Hold on, we can take care of him from this far away, I think. Oh, he's fighting the poor guy. He's gonna destroy my torches again. Can I grab him from here? I don't know. I'm gonna let the dwarf do his thingies with him. Oh, let me blast him with arrows, what the heck. We can take care of Gal. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I hate you, I hate you. A million time times. Oh! If not for... I don't know what will I do with the melee run. Like I said, I am a bit more confident in here, but not that confident, so... Uh, we're still doing a lot of running away. So this is the area, like I've destroyed their ward. I don't know if there's another gal here, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. I still haven't grabbed this little thingy. Let's grab it. Make a run for it. Okay, let's grab it, make a run for it, let's get back home. Uh we're gonna worry about this farming whole area thingy. <laughs> Off and on between and off the camera. I'm gonna come here off the camera because that's that's gonna allow me to take more time with it. Have both my headphones on because now I have only one headphone so I can listen to myself talking so I don't scream in the mic. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking up. This is the way to play the game now. You're gonna have to keep looking up <laughs> for gals. So sorry for all the weird camera movements. But the only danger comes from above in here. 
Okay, so that's it. We got this. Is, I'm super happy with this. Wow, nice uh, thunderbolts there. So yeah, we're gonna spend some time in here. We have one diverger extractor. So I'm gonna set that guy to <laughs> do his thingy on one of the routes. And yeah, this was uh, this was the episode. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna get uh, the farm going. We're gonna have everything in order. We're gonna have uh, sap soon. I don't know, uh, Iter. Yeah, we're gonna have Iter really soon. So uh, things are looking nice. We got the direction for the queen. We might try and find her in the next episode. I'm gonna make no promises though, because if the direction is gonna send me to another uh, Mistlands biome, which is not accessible, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna deal with that when the time comes. So, uh, I feel super happy we've achieved quite a lot in this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll grab, I'll see you all, I'll grab you. No, I'm not gonna grab you. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm gonna see you in the next episode, so take care of yourselves, goodbye, and stay alive.